Hi, it's Paul Browning from HowToNetwork.net. Going to show you how to answer wildcard masking questions in the CCNA exam. This will work in the CCMP as well. So all answers have to add up to 255, and in the top row I've put a sample subnet mask here. And all we do in the middle column, if you want to write it out, is just uh, add the number that will give us 255. So to get to 255 from there we add 0. The same for the next column, we add 0. Same for the next column. To get to, to 255 from 192, we have to add 63. You can write this down on a bit of paper in the exams, there's no problem. I tend to write out 255 minus 192 equals, and in this example, the wildcard mask is 0 .0 0 0.0.63. Do a couple of other examples, but the principle is exactly the same. This time our subnet mask ends in 224. So the question is, what do we uh, have if we take away 224 from um, 255? And the answer is 31. This is a very simple principle, so I'm just I'm just showing you a few examples just to just to demonstrate how it works and that it does work. So our final uh, part of the address is 252. What do we add to 252, or what do we take away from what do, what do we have when we have? Uh, 252 taken away from 255 and the answer is 3. So um, we could have a, another example now, 240. If you take 240 away from 255, what's the answer? And it's quite simple, 0 .0 0.0.0.15. So using this for access list and for OSPF in the exam. Make it slightly difficult now, though really you, it can't be very difficult if you use this method. Our subnet mask is 255.255.192.0. So how do we work out the wildcard mask? Simple, we just take the 192 away from 255, which will give us 63. We take the 0 away from 255, which gives us 255. Thanks for watching the video.